Yes lads, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Uh, now today I join you from mine and Luke's project car. Um, some of you may already know what it is, people who got me on Snapchat, whatever. Uh, just haven't really had a chance to introduce it to the channel until now. Uh, so this is what this video will be, uh, introducing the new project car, joint project car, obviously me and Luke, uh, which you'll see, you'll see him in um, later videos, obviously when we, uh, when we work on the car. But yeah, if anyone can guess from here what it is, then it's pretty obvious. So that's, let's get on to the video. Um, I'll show you around the car. I'll talk you through what we're going to do with the car. Uh, talk you through what needs doing first before we go any further. Tell you where the car came from, uh, what the car was used for before we got it, etc, etc. So. Let's just go through a couple of things uh, before we introduce the car. So, this car was owned by my old neighbour, right? And he was getting rid of all of his cars. And he turned up at mine uh, one day, a couple of weeks ago. And he was like, do you want this car as a project? Um, and I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> um, so, it used to be tracked by my old neighbour. Uh, so he's been tracking it for about five or six years. So it didn't have an MOT uh, since 2016. Obviously, we've got it through the MOT now because we're on the road in it. Uh, but yeah, there was loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff in my eyes that needs doing uh, just to make it a bit more reliable. Uh, we've had a couple of issues with it, but nothing major. Um, but it's just an easy car to work on. It's not like these modern day cars where shit goes wrong and it costs you loads of fucking money. It's just back when times were simple. And yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this car. Uh, me and Luke are gonna have a lot of different ideas. And obviously it'll be conjoint with me and Luke, all of our ideas into one. So it is gonna be absolutely mint when it's finished. But we've only just got it. And as you do when you get a car, you just drive it, fuck about in it, get to know the car really, get to know its faults as well. But yeah. That's enough for me rambling on. Let's introduce you to the project. Yes, lads. So there you have it. It is Mark One MX5. Uh, now it is an import, but to be honest, I couldn't care if it was an import or not. Um, let's just say we got a very good deal on this car. Uh, now let's talk through what's already been done with it. So it's got that induction kit on the front, which I don't really understand why, because it's naturally aspirated. But hey ho, it's got one. It's a 1.8 litre, so it's a 1.8 litre version, not the 1.6. Uh, there's mixed opinions of people about which one takes turbos better, which one you can get more power out of. To be honest, we're not looking for absolutely stupid power out of this, because it will be a trap car slash stance car. We're not going to go show car with it because we'd rather have fun in it and drive it for its actual purpose. Uh, so, as you can see on the back, we're running different wheels on the back to the front. Now we have a full set 
of the standard black alloys. Uh, I think they actually come on these, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but these are lightweight track wheels because the previous owner used to track the vehicle. Uh, now I didn't actually understand how light these were until I went to work yesterday and took the tyres off uh, the other two because they've got massive punctures in them and you can literally fucking juggle the wheel like it's that light um what else we've got an lsd already in it uh perfect for sliding well yeah these wheels obviously we've got two off already um they're being referred by luke at the minute we're still going to stick with white because i think white on white looks kind of nice um and when i can put the standard alloys back on this uh, obviously we'll do the same with this so we are refurbing the alloys we will do a video on that uh, let's talk through how the car came uh, obviously because it did not look like this when we got it so it had no hard top at all um, and the soft top is shredded to bits um, so what we actually managed to pull off was get this in the morning get it on OT by four o'clock in the afternoon and then we drove uh, about 40 minute drive to get a hard top, bought the hard top, put it on while we were there and we were sorted because it is winter and obviously the UK likes to piss it down. We needed a hard top as soon as possible. Now, I'm going to be honest, I think we paid a bit over budget uh, for the condition that this is in. But it's going to be sprayed anyway, uh, colour matched with the white. We do want to get rid of these stripes as well. Funny story, this is like a thick pinstripe and this is fucking paint. So we can't even, we were going to take them off the other day and then we realised it's actual paint. So uh, that's going to be a bit harder than we thought. Now we're going to take all the stickers off the back as well. Just make it clean, um, clean as possible. We'll probably leave Greta on there because we put her on yesterday and uh, yeah. She's just funny, man. But yeah, as you can see, there's a chip out of that side. Uh, so that will need filling uh, before we spray it white. But overall, guys, I absolutely love this car. Like, it's, it's something special. And I was about to say, you don't really see these on the road anymore. Uh, I shit you not, the first two days I was driving about in this, I saw four of them and it's like it's like you're part of a club you're driving about and obviously you let on to each other because you're like oh it's a white mark one do you know what I mean but I thought these were dead rare obviously much rarer than they used to be and then it's weird when you buy one you see fucking loads of them and you're like kill <laughs> so as you guys have probably already noticed as well there is no carpets in this whatsoever. It's all bare metal. This was all dirty. We uh, took the seats out the other day, give it a nice wipe down. We've even got holes in the floor. So we've sorted that one. Uh, we'll need to sort all the other ones. And um, yeah, might even do a door card delete, whatever. If you're gonna go bare metal, you might as well do it properly. I don't know. Depends what me and Luke decide on. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with this car. Um, yeah. Now we have had a couple of issues with it while we've had it. Obviously, I said to Luke when we got it, I said, "Look, like we need to drive. We need to take it on long drives because this has only been tracked. So yeah, it might handle a track day, but does it handle like an hour plus journey? Because obviously, we're not going to use it as it's a daily car." to drive on the road as well as track so we want it to meet all criteria if you get me so the first issue we had was it won't go over 4000 revs um, sort of went into limp mode so I think I fixed that now because I haven't done it since I just took the spark plugs out and there was like that much oil in every spark plug so uh, that wasn't good and due to the oil being in the spark plug and oil coming out the rocker cover as well i've done a rock cover gasket on it um so that's sorted as you saw before in the um cinematics for the car the back bit of the engine bay it looks like it's fully rusted 
trust me it's not rust there's actually not a single mark of rust on this car the sills are in perfect condition uh, I've had it up on a, my ramp and honestly looks like it's never driven in the UK um, but yeah that all that rusty mark is actually coolant uh, I drove it to work one day um, and then noticed I had a massive coolant leak and it was a pipe at the back of the engine which was a nice um, sort out but we have bought new coolant lines because they're all old and you know silicone or rubber it goes obviously hard and don't do its job properly after years of being on the car uh, I have managed to fix that temporarily uh, just took the pipe off and cut it where it was split and put it back on uh, but the video after this will be us doing the coolant pipe replacement we've got a uh, nice clean black silicone pipes to go on this to keep it nice and subtle uh, it's got some sort of back roll cage in it it's not a full roll cage but um, it is better than having any at all and yeah there is one issue I only just fit in this to drive it uh, now these seats I think you can do a mod uh, where you can make the seat sit like further back and lower uh, maybe get some custom rails from because I can drive it but it's not it's not comfy if you get me there's not a lot of leg room at all like this is how i have to drive like hello so yes guys i hope you like the car um me and luke obviously love it um we've already played about with it uh and yeah we both absolutely love it um it's gonna rinse our bank accounts but it's worth it uh, obviously it's worth for you all to see the journey of this car as well but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section of the car choice because um, honestly I've already fell in love with it and it's literally standard from how we bought it still a lot of work to do uh, but it's going to be a mint journey so thanks guys for watching the video uh, and subscribe don't miss a video on the MX-5 or BM or any other video I upload and I'll see you guys next time.